Good evening, meteorologist Dean Davis and the Weather Pros, liveweatherblogs.com. We're talking about the next weekend or week or so, and it's not going to be very busy. Uh, we're going to get some cold air into the area, then we're going to go from warm up, cold air, warm up, and it sets up beginning of February, and I'll show you that here on the map. So we're going to look at different things here. First, the PNA. You see it goes negative, and it's going to go positive again here in the beginning of February. And that is seen right down here at the 500 megabar, millibar chart. That PN, that's the PNA. We'll go to the AO and the AAO. The AAO looks the same way. That's good. It's a good sign for snow. The AO. When the AO goes negative, that's usually a good sign also. So you got that. And then the NAO will go positive to start and then drop into negative um, as we get into the part of the month of February so we will expect a, by the first maybe it's the second that we go to a neutral to negative NAO stage which tells me a couple things snow could and looks more likely to occur so as we keep on these computer models you see what's going on currently not much a couple sprinkles maybe through the Roanoke Valley and through the area of West Virginia you see rainfall actually coming for the 29th of the month you see that rain and a low pressure off the coast. We don't look like we're going to be looking at snow very much until about the 30th into the 1st. And then we get the next storm, and it's going to be on the 2nd. This storm will start off as rain. The low pressure will be over Roanoke area. It'll push to the east off the coast. This rain will then change to snow and blanket an area from Roanoke up to Raleigh up to, I mean, Roanoke up to, uh, excuse me, Richmond up to, New Jersey up to parts of Massachusetts and Maine. So this is actually will be a nice system for potential snow. Beyond that, we get a little clipper and another chance of snow comes with February 7th. That says rain, but it'll be cold enough to be on the snow side. So we'll back this up and I want to back it up to the part where we go through the snow. So I can change this over to expect a snowfall race. This is a ways off still. But it's just a, an idea, and we always want to take a look at the ideas, what could occur. And this will show anywhere from the purples, five, six, seven inches. So that would be interesting. That would be, that, if it does occur on the first, so I'm going to actually get closer so we can see this closer. But it would be a... a a three, four inch snowstorm if this occurs. And you'll see that right here. Two to four and right along the Blue Ridge, that heavier snow, five to six. That wouldn't be surprising me because it's easterly winds when that low goes by up against the mountains. That would squeeze out heavier snow and then it would be look like a pretty good size storm if this continues. Of course this could change. This is not in stone along the uh, Rhode Island and Cape Boston, that area. So pretty much that's what we have for the next week and a half. So we do have a shot of snow by the end of the beginning of the month. We'll talk to you again soon. Meteorologist Ian Davison, thanks for watching.